Hello, Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com here with a quick audio production hack. Take a look at my screen and you'll see my production folder. I wanted to show you the structure of my production folder and where I store things because it's a common question for audio producers. Where on earth do I put all the audio content that I've got? So I'd like to show you how I do it and ask for your feedback in the comments of this video on how you do it too. So take a look at my folders here. The first one, Client Archives, this is where I back up all the audio production we've ever done for every client and eventually these folders will be backed up to a service called Amazon Glacier which allows unlimited backing up into the cloud for a very low fee. Then in Clients, I've got all the current clients that I'm working with, the raw audio files and the session files from Adobe Audition. Demos, full of audio that I'm producing to put up on the Music Radio Creative website. DJ Drops and free radio jingles are full of samples that I'm going to put out on djdrops.org and freeradiojingles.co.uk, a couple of free resources we provide with lots of free downloads for you. MRC.FM is my internet radio station, and everything to do with that is in there, all the sung jingles, the voiceovers, and the music tracks I'm working on. The podcast is full of every single podcast I've ever done from one right the way up and in fact there's a lot of raw WAV files in there that again I need to look to back up into the cloud using Amazon Glacier because they take up a lot of space on my hard disk. Royalty free beds I'm starting to categorize now by different genre as I download them from places like Audio Jungle. Sung jingles, full of sung jingle sessions we've done ready to be edited and mixed and of course jingle beds too. Tools is one of my favorite folders, Tools of the Trade. These are all the sound effects and imaging effects we use here at Music Radio Creative to create general radio jingles, and they're all categorized into volumes and different genres as well. Then go into Voices, and you'll find the voices we have here at Music Radio Creative. And what's more, I've tried to categorize different phrases that our voices have said and actually name the files to be relevant so that when I conduct a search for something like Music Radio Creative, I can find many different voiceovers saying Music Radio Creative. And the final folder is YouTube, and that's for my YouTube work that I do, so any audio that I'm editing or any video goes in there. Well, there's just a brief look at how I structure my audio production directories. How do you do it? Leave a comment below this video and let me know. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.